Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Zoom ISO and vMix to be able to create a totally new workflow for ingesting Zoom into Vision Mixer. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how you can use Zoom ISO to individually select users and bring them in as NDI sources at HD from a single computer into vMix, and then how to create multi-sources or cut between them or use Companion to be able to control vMix and to create a really revolutionary workflow for bringing in Zoom as a contribution system. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the end first, where the end result is how we have Companion set up to control vMix, and then we'll show you how we put it all together. So inside of vMix, I have eight NDI feeds coming in from Zoom ISO. And again, I'll show you over on the Zoom ISO side. You'll see that I have eight outputs selected. I've selected my output in resolution, and I currently have eight of them filled in, again, being remote controlled by Companion. I don't have to select users from the drop-down list, so on and so forth. I have NDI enabled as well as Siphon, but NDI is what we're using right now. And if you want to learn more about this, you can watch the Getting Started video or even the uh, Getting Started with NDI video. might be a good one to watch there if you want to catch up on that. Anyway, going back over to vMix and showing you my Companion at the same time, you'll see that I have the area that we showed in the companion video, which would be a good one to review, where I can select any user on the call and route them to any output that I want. So I have NDI feed one currently in the program bus, and I can just sort of at will cut between the different sources there, and we can see different people if they have video on available in that source. I'll set it back to Alex for now. Now what I've also created for this video is super sources or multi-sources, depending on whether you come from an ATEM world or a vMix world, right? So, uh, but we're in vMix, so we'll call them multi-sources. And this is just a composited source of multiple video feeds at once. And we'll show you how to create those in vMix as a review. But uh, I can select any of these sources and then hit merge, and that'll do the transition effect to that group. What's cool about all this together is let's say I want to change it so that Alex isn't speaking with Rupert right now, but maybe Alex is having a conversation with Bill. So I'll go ahead and I'll set uh, Bill to be output two, and now I have a super source there. And I can cover that by hitting the host button and merge again. So host will always cut me back to Alex on one, no matter who I have routed to one. If I hit host, I can always go back to Alex there. So just to show what that would look like, practically speaking, let's say that I'm on you know, uh, a single up of guy and that I've routed uh, maybe Roscoe to one. So now I don't have Alex anymore in my system, but I need to get back to the host because the host is taking over. So I just hit the host button, hit merge, and we're back to Alex, no matter what happened there. And we'll show you what's happening inside of Companion to make all of that work. Um, but again, the, the flexibility here is that I can very quickly create any sort of relationship that I want between these inputs and outputs and create the super sources that drive them at the end of the day. So being able to just to quickly cut to a four up or something like that is something that, that's the real advantage of using an ISO workflow. So this is a setup that would make a lot of sense for Zoom ingest production. Eight sources available, you can have all sorts of super sources that you want. If you wanted them at 1080p, you could drop down your number of outputs based on the encoding of your computer capability. So um, I know at this computer I can get uh, four to five 1080p 30 outputs pretty reliably. So maybe I cut this column out and add more users into my pad. We could set it up however we wanted. And we're gonna show you how you set that up now. So going back to vMix, I'm gonna show you how this setup was created. So I'm going to create a new project And now I have some blank inputs areas here. So I'm going to go to my add input area. I'm going to go to NDI. And then I'm going to look for the computer that was generating the NDI. And you see I have these thumbnails. So I have my eight outputs. And I also have the primary and secondary displays as well, which we talk about in the video about active speaker, gallery view, and the screen share content. So you might want to review that there. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start adding these inputs. And so now I'm going to add a second input, which will be second NDI feed, which looking at my stream deck should be Jeffrey. So I'll go ahead and add that. And there we go. So now we have those sources in. So I just repeat that process to get my eight individual NDI inputs into my project. Okay, now I have my eight NDI feeds available and I can start to cut between them or do some basic mixing between these sources. The next thing I wanna do is create a, a multi-source. And there's a bunch of ways to do that inside of vMix, but um, the way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna go to add input, virtual set, and then we're going to grab a look that we like. So in this case, maybe I want to do um, a, uh, maybe I'll do a four up, but I'll do it on the blue background instead. So I'll grab this quad system here, and then I'll add that three up in the same style. So that'll be over here in the virtual set area. I'll find a three up that is uh, this kind of swirly blue thing going on in the background here. And then I'll add one more, which will be the two up equivalent of that. And then for my own purposes, I'm just going to rename these inputs four up and then three up and then finally two up. What's cool about this is that that will then allow them to be used by name inside of Companion. 
and I want to set these up now, so I'm going to go to my input layer, and now I can select um, for my box one, I can select all the different uh, inputs that I can make as part of that super source or that multi source. So I'm going to say, okay, I want Alex to always be in box one, but for box two, I'm going to have input two, box three, I'm going to have input three, box four, I'm going to have input four. And then I'll uh, look at that up there and see, yep, that, that looks the way I want it to. So I'm gonna just go back to the camera section here and I can see that in, in terms of what's being pulled in. Next, I'm gonna go over to the setup for the three up and I'll do the same thing. Box one will be input one, box two will be input two, box three will be input three. And finally, the two up setup, box one will be input one, box two will be input two. And so now if I cut to that, and I begin to merge up. I'll say, okay, let's go from, actually, let's start, start at the beginning here. So we go from a two up, merge to a, a one up to a two up, and then we merge to a three up, and it adds another box, and we go to four up, and it swings around and creates a four up there. And we can go back to any of the people who are available in that and merge to them, and it'll do the transition effect to get them back to full screen. And so again, let me show you over on the companion side what we're doing over there. So for companion, these buttons are just coming right from the vMix module. So I add in the vMix module inside a companion, and then I can choose my transition effect to be merge. The four up is just calling the input named four up, likewise for three up and two up. Now the host button is interesting because what that does is it graduates the input one to preview, but it also makes sure that we always assign our host to that input number. And that's gonna be through the zoom ISO action output ISO. And we show you that video in the companion tutorial. So we encourage you to check that out and you can see how to set that up. But I just selected, instead of doing a selection user, I just select Alex from the dropdown list. And now it's always going to be that. So together, this allows you to create a workflow where you can get multiple individual NDI sources into vMix and then composite them and manage all of it from a single instance of your stream deck. So we hope that helps you when you're setting up your Zoom ingest systems for vision mixing. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at info at liminalet.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. We encourage you to check out the other videos on this channel, specifically maybe how to set up your NDI sources or set up companion if you want to learn more about that. Uh, but until then, we'll see you in the next one and take care.